glittering eye that wherefore stoppest thou me? The bridegroom's doors are open wide, and I am next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set, may steer the very din. He holds him with his skinny hand. There was a ship, quoth he. Hold off, unhand me, great beard moon. As soon as his hand dropped he, he holds him with his glittering eye. The wedding guest stood still and listens like a three years child. The mariner hath his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone. He cannot choose but hear. And thus spake on that ancient man, the bright eyed mariner. The wedding guest here beat his breast, for he heard the loud bassoon. And strong, he struck with his oar taking wings and chased south along. The, the ship drove fast, loud roared the blast, and, and southward I fled. Be. 
its beak, only to break the silence of the sea. A bird, I killed the bird, I made the breeze to blow. A wretch that made the bird to slay, that made the breeze to blow. A wretch that made the bird to slay, that made the breeze to blow. A wretch that made the bird to slay, that made the breeze to blow. gentle thing, beloved from pole to pole. To Mary Queen the praise be given. She sent the gentle sleep from heaven that slid into my soul. How long in that same fit I lay, I have not to declare, but ere my living life returned. I heard and in my soul discern two voices in the air. But tell me, tell me, speak again, the soft response renewing. What makes this ship drive so fast? What is the ocean doing? But why drives on that ship so fast without or wave or winds? The air is cut away before and closes from behind. Fly, brother, fly, more high, more high, or shall we be belated? For slow and slow that ship will go, when the mariner's trance is abated. The pilot and the pilot's boy, I heard them coming fast. Dear Lord in heaven, it was a joy the dead man could not last. The harbor bay was 
Oh, shrieve me, shrieve me, holy man. The hermit crossed his brow. Say quick, I bid thee say, what manner of man art thou? For with the frame of mine was wretched, with all woeful agony, which forced me to begin my tale, and then I left me free. Farewell, farewell, but this I tell. To thee, the wedding guest, he prayeth well, who loveth well, both man and bird and beast. He prayeth best, who loveth best, all things both great and small. For the dear God who loveth us, he made and loveth all. Farewell, farewell, but this I tell. To thee, the wedding guest, he prayeth well, who loveth well, both man and bird and beast. He, he prayeth best, who loveth best, all things both great and small. For the dear God who loveth us, he made us love it all. He went like one that had his son, and is a sense I'm shuffling. Let's go. 